And uh, uh, finally, you know, the last uh, interview that I wanted to sh share with you from Music Connected. Uh, it's been a very long show, but I really hope you stuck with it because it was uh, it was really interesting. Uh, it's with Hannah Overton from the Secretly Label Group. It's great to be here with uh, Hannah Overton, uh, General Manager of Europe for the Secretly Label, Label Group. So hi, Hannah, and thanks for joining me. How's it going? Hello. Very well, thank you. And so you, we just finished uh, the panel that was uh, all about sort of uh, uh, how to break an actor with under a thousand pounds, which I guess is a very difficult thing to do. And <laughs> we were chatting about that earlier with another one of the guests. And so uh, what were your main takeaways in terms of, you know, what are the trends uh, as far as uh, uh, an early stage bands and trying to break them? What, what are the best tools out there? Um, so I think we came to the conclusion that the best thing to do is to have some, firstly, have some great music um, and secondly, have some great content. Um, you also need to be able to find your voice when it comes to social media. Um, so there's a lot you can do without spending any money at all, um, building up your SoundCloud and your Facebook, your Twitter, um, Tumblr, Instagram. Um, start creating your voice using all those tools um, and then use the music you've recorded um, to start creating a following yeah. um, you can put your music on um, a YouTube channel and on SoundCloud um, and start spreading that out and building up your followers that way uh, without spending a penny yeah sure so uh, what was the impression of the day today where it's, it's the last interview so I, c I can ask you that uh, <laughs> uh, how do you find it yeah it's been a great day there's been some great speakers um, there's been a lot of talk about uh, how the digital music market is moving um, how the streaming market is increasing and what that's doing to digital downloads how that's cannibalizing them um, and a lot of talk about the fact that we're not at the stage yet where streaming income is making up for the lack of physical sales and digital downloads. Um, but at the rate it's increasing, we hope it will get there. Yeah, and so uh, I love to talk about uh, case studies. So have you got like a particular release that uh, you've uh, you've worked on, on over the last few months that uh, has something interesting to, sh to share with us in terms of uh, you know the way you've uh, you've worked it? The Secretly Canadian is currently having a lot of success with a band called War on Drugs. Yeah. Um, and actually, I think that is probably a slightly old-fashioned campaign in that the band are on their third album and we feel like this is the album that's taken them from being quite a niche band to going a little bit more overground. Right. Um, they've got a lot a lot of fans who really, really love their music. Um, we feel like with this third album, um, it's really connecting with a new audience. Um, we've, we're getting radio playlists for the first time. Um, Print Press has actually really come on board and covered it really well, as well as online. Um, you know, we've seen, we've been in the album charts for seven weeks. Um, and that is actually an old-fashioned campaign. I still, I think that proves that you still need to do some of the same things, really. You need sure. to make great music. You need to know how to present it to people. Um, and you need to build your audience through live touring, really. Yeah, and you were talking about the fact that also uh, if a band has got a thousand pounds to spend, maybe there's, there's a good uh, uh, sort of argument to make that they should spend some of that or a good part of that in making a decent music video so they can actually get some exposure uh, out of it. Yeah, and it depends whether you, you include making videos within your marketing budget, but making videos and content... Um, is really really important um videos can be put on so many platforms you know they can be put on youtube which is the second biggest search engine in the world um they can be shared on all your social media um they can be used to present to media to help persuade uh, radio to play your music to help press to cover your music um so it's just a really good of way of putting music in front of people and saying this is who we are this is what we do absolutely and uh, finally uh, any release that you'd like to plug that's uh, coming out or just about to come out um well we do have an amazing new british band signed to secretly canadian uh, they're called woman's hour uh, they're from kendall in cumbria in the northwest um currently based in london uh and they're they make absolutely gorgeous music they're very very special very focused and have got a great artistic sensibility um their record's coming out on the 14th of july they're brilliant live so uh yeah you should all go and check them out womansour.co.uk that's great thanks so much hannah